This week's special guest is more than just an academic. Abrar Derwish is a speech and language therapist who has fulfilled her dream in directing her own language development center with a goal to enhance the language skills of young children. Hi, my name is Abra Darwish. I'm a speech and language therapist and the founder of Little Village, and I've been working with children with special needs since 2004. I've always liked working with children, um, and I've had lots of placements when I was at school with um, children in schools, and I really enjoyed that experience, but I wanted to really make a difference. And for one of my placements, I went to an ML Institute, and I got an opportunity to be with children there and children with special needs and it was such a rewarding experience and I felt that that's what I wanted to do and I pursued my studies in the UK at the University of Reading and I studied speech and language therapy. First of all, when the child comes into Little Village, we need to establish a baseline to know where they are to be able to measure the change that happens while they're here at the centre. Um, so when they first come in, we do an informal assessment. Um, it's done by a group of therapists, so a speech therapist, occupational therapist, behaviour therapist, a special needs teacher, and as a team we work together to establish a baseline and we find out where are the gaps in the child's learning. Um, what gaps do we need to fill in and what do we need to work on? Uh, based on that, we then create an IEP, which is an individual education plan that is individualized to that for that child. Um, and then we start working on, on that. At the end of the month, we then um, reassess informally again as a team. We do things collaboratively to ensure that a child um, generalizes the skills that he's learned. And it's not just based on a certain working with a certain therapist or working within a certain environment. So it's very important for us to ensure the generalization of any skill that we work on. Um, when, at the end of the month, we then re, um, reassess informally again. We go back to the original plan that was set out, his IEP, and we see has he achieved those goals or not. If not, then we need to identify the reasons why that goal was not achieved to move forward. The reassessment happens on an ongoing basis, so it's monthly. This way we ensure that any gap that is there in a child's development um, is generalized throughout time here. We're working with them with different therapists, which ensures that when we identify a goal, we're working on it thoroughly. And the reassessment process that takes place every month ensures that we're constantly looking back and making sure things are developing in the right way. It's important at the beginning, when, the first, when a child first comes to Little Village, for us to identify the mode of communication. Because realistically, not every special needs child will be able to communicate verbally and use words to communicate. So to ensure that things are happening in the right way, and for ch children who are a bit older or still are non-verbal, then we need to ensure that we have a proper communication system for them to be able to communicate. Um, and it's important for children to be independent. We believe that here. And they need to be independent communicators. And realistically, not all children will be able to talk verbally. So therefore, we use the PECS method with uh, quite a few of our children. PECS stands for Picture Exchange Communication System. Um, it is a system that is, uh, was started by Andy Bondi in the US. And it's all about giving children who are non-verbal the opportunity to request their needs and express their feelings. It's based on something called picture exchange. So the child travels with a folder and it has all the pictures of objects and things he needs as well as feelings for more developed children. Um, and children will use that to be able to, to communicate. We ensure that that is generalized throughout the time the child is here with us and the child has a, as many opportunities to communicate as possible. So not every child coming into Little Village is going to fit in the box we have. We have different boxes. We need to ensure that when we're assessing them at the beginning, we're identifying exactly what that child needs and what communication method um, he will need. Children who are verbal or who show progress with communicating verbally, we will go down that route. But children who are struggling with that have the right to express their feelings. They have the right to be able to request their needs. Hence, we do give them alternative methods.
one of the children that we have here um, started with pecs last year he now is very independent he will walk with his pecs book from a room to room into the garden as soon as he gets into an environment or a therapy room he will take out his pecs book and he'll tell the teacher exactly what he needs and he's making amazing progress we're now moving him on to a tablet or an ipad to ensure that he has access to as many pictures he needs to be able to request anything he needs obviously the limitation with using a book um, is that we need to make sure we have prints and laminate the pictures for them to be available but he's definitely reached a level where he can discriminate between pictures and is very independent and needs access to much more so he's moved on to that stage so yeah we're very happy and pleased with um, with the progress we see children who were had a lot of negative behavior children who were aggressive or children who were just frustrated um, now have an opportunity to communicate which is great What made me do it? Um, as I said, I enjoy working with, with children and I think the turning point was um, when I went to um, Al Amal Institute. Uh, being there, I did it for, for school, our CAS hours, and, but being there, being in that environment and seeing the change, is, is just it's, it makes you happy. Um, and I, I felt that that's what I want to pursue. I love children and I love being with children. Um, so I wanted, I wanted to make a difference um, in their lives, so that's why I went into speech therapy. I think initially when I first started, so we're talking back in 2005, not a lot of parents were aware of what speech and language therapy is, how can speech therapy or just a special needs center or even an early intervention program help their child. Uh, so that was back then, that was a big struggle for parents to have the awareness that we could actually help their child and make a difference. I think moving on now, I can definitely see a shift in people's uh, mindsets. Children who are coming to us are coming to us at a younger age, which is amazing because early intervention is all about coming in at a younger age and seeking support when they're younger. Once a child reaches a certain age, um, then that window of opportunity starts closing and it makes it a bit more difficult. So I can definitely see the shift in, in people's awareness and attitude. A lot of our kids are now younger. Um, and because they're younger, we can actually make a difference. We can get them to a level where they can move on and go to a school. I think what I would really like to tell all moms is uh, to, to follow their gut feeling. And if they do feel that their child is delayed or is struggling, um, it's important to seek help early on and not to wait. A lot of times um, they will get advice from family members or even other specialists saying just use the wait and see approach. He'll grow up, he'll be fine, he'll grow up, he'll grow out of it. The problem with that approach is that once he reaches a certain age, it's really difficult for us professionals to come in at the time and, and make a change. So as a mom, if your child is not hitting his milestones, if he is a late talker, it's important to seek a, a professional or a center that can support them. Um, it might be difficult at the beginning, but it'll be much uh, a shorter journey as opposed to when they come later on when they're older.